The Broadlands Estate is one of the most famous names in fishing, renowned the world over for the river test flowing through the estate that was the home of Earl Mountbatten. This is one of the finest sections of the river test, wide, fast, varied and open, renowned for big brown trout, sea trout and the occasional salmon. But today we are here to tap into another of the river's great bounties, the grayling. In every respect, the River Test is a preeminent chalk stream. Physically, it is the longest, 39 miles from source to estuary. Historically, it is generally regarded as the birthplace of modern fly fishing. In literature, Halford, Plunkett, Green, and Skews, to name but a few, immortalised the test in their fishing writings. The test rises in North Hampshire in the hamlet of Ash, not Overton, as generally supposed. It then travels on a southwest curve, growing in width and flow, as first the Bourne and then the Deaver and the Anton join the main river. I've uh, set up the Delicate Duo. I'm using a 9 foot 6 stream flex for a 3 weight. It's a floating line. I've got a tapered leader down to 5 pounds and attached to the business end is a parachute Adams. And off the bend of the hook I've got a size 18 nymph. Uh, I've seen a few fish rising so I'm going to give it a go and see how we get on. Well, we've had a grand day's fishing at Broadlands on the River Test. Uh, Lindsay brought me along to uh, help out uh, Carl and Kurt uh, learn a bit about grayland fishing. Uh, I showed them the double limp straight away, and as experienced anglers, they picked it up no bother. Slow start to the day because it was really frosty this morning, so the ladies didn't really show up till 10 o'clock. Uh, Carl got off to a good start, Kurt had a bit of a slow one, but at the end of the day there, Kurt's just had a bonza session pulled in probably eight beauties, biggest over 40 uh, centimetres. A really good day's grayland fishing for them. Not easy at all though, and a bag of 10 was uh, was tops. So that was all we could expect today. The ladies didn't join in any great numbers. We didn't find them in big pods, and we had to work hard for them. 